Matt, everybody might be talking about Astrobot right now, but we're here to talk about Gimmick 2, my friend. Honestly, I'd rather talk about <laughs> Gimmick 2. That's no no shaded Astrobot, but uh It's good. It's good, but Gimmick 2, th this is the real stuff right here, Matt. Look, Gimmick 2 has a David Weiss soundtrack. Like what do you want me to say? <laughs> Only one of those two games has a David Weiss soundtrack. Uh, yeah, Gimmick 2, this is a uh, a kind of like out of nowhere sequel to a like cult classic Famicom game um, from the folks at Bitwave. Big thanks to them uh, for passing along a code for this on the Nintendo Switch. It's out now. I'll have a purchase link in the video description. Uh, we've been friends with them for a while, and uh, they're super cool to, to pass along a code. And um, I'm glad to have you here with me, Matt, because Gimmick is famously hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and Gimmick 2 kind of follows in that lineage, although it does have a couple of cool um, little options and workarounds. But I, uh, I do want to show off the first level of the game, which I have already played, uh, on the standard Gimmick difficulty, Matt. And uh, I'm just going to kind of get started and just kind of let you take it away and tell folks like what the game kind of is. Sure. Yeah, if you've never played or seen the original gimmick, it was a Famicom game, like Seth said, but it is weirdly, like, physics-y. Like, it is, like, mm -hmm. kind of a physics-based side-scrolling platformer. Uh, you'll see it a lot, even in this first level. Uh, like, Seth is holding down, was that Y to make the stars? Yeah. When you toss the stars, they, the stars have their own physics, and the velocity and the angle depend on like how you throw the star like if you want to have like a low toss you just do it from the ground if you want it to go higher you toss it while jumping um it's nothing like super duper complicated but it's how it's woven into the level design where it gets kind of nutty um also even things like slopes uh like you see there so that's just rode the star to make that jump there will be a lot of that, even in stage two, if you, especially if you're going after the collectibles. Um, yeah. But yeah, even slopes, you're doing a lot of like gaining momentum by sliding down slopes and doing a bunch of platforming that way. Yep, it's uh, it's interesting, man. And it was like, so Bitwave actually put out like a kind of remaster of gimmick what was that a, is that was that a year two years ago i think it was, was actually it's like a year ago at most i think it was not even a year ago but it was recently uh yeah and and i guess it's interesting now because when that came out i sort of was like okay like that's cool like like bitwave just wants to you know they they want to work with gimmick i guess but i i did not have it in my mind that one day they would make like an actual sequel to it mm -hmm. um much less one like this uh because it's, it's actually, like, I don't know, like, you, you, there's so much love that went into this. Like, you can tell that they were, like, massive fans of the original, and that working on the original was actually just almost like a testing ground for them right. to make this, you know? And now you kind of made it through the tutorial section. You can tell because the electric guitar comes in. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right, let me actually try to get a hit on this thing here. <laughs> I do like the worm enemies are probably my favorite enemies so far. Oh yeah, yeah they're good. Yeah, the, the enemies are pretty are pretty good. I just I love the whole presentation of the game is like really strong. Uh, it's not even like I don't know like it's not what I would have expected out of it. Weirdly, mm -hmm. um, I've already done this level. I already have a lot of the collectibles, but. It actually feels so. Bitwave, their their previous game, and what most people would probably know them for is uh, is Wonderling, um, and that game has actually some common threads with this game too. Um, it, it actually makes a little bit of sense for Bitwave to be the one sort of doing this uh, in hindsight, because Wonderling was kind of like a platformer where you essentially plays like a Goomba. From Mario, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that's kind of the whole thing. You you can't like jump; you're just kind of walking straight. Um, but it had a lot of oh, these man. sensibilities. Had, they juked yeah, you out it, there. <laughs> yeah. It had a lot of these sensibilities, though, of like the the sort of like big levels with like a lot of collectibles, even like the hats and the colors mm -hmm. and stuff. Like this is not the default gimmick look. Like I can go in and uh, and go into my collection and like. You have like all these different hats that you can collect and like color schemes and even like things for your star. Um, 
It's pretty interesting, man. Yeah, and there's a lot of them. Uh, I've played the first two levels. I've gotten almost all the collectibles on the first level and most of them on the second. There are a lot of collectibles, a lot of cosmetic items. Um, in the second level, I got a skin that kind of makes gimmick look a little bit like Kirby, and then I put a big flower on his head, and I was pretty satisfied with that. Let's go. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, it's just kind of cute. The music's really good. The presentation is really good. And, like, it genuinely feels like, for, for me, one of the, the more impressive things about the game is, like, it, it doesn't abandon kind of what makes gimmick gimmick, mm -hmm. you know? And, like, you know, for, for me, my only real exposure to gimmick was playing, like, 30 minutes of that re-release because it was so hard. That game <laughs> you know? is hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, so for me, like, I, I always kind of appreciated it for what it was, but it wasn't the kind of thing where I had any interest in, like, mastering the first gimmick, you know? Right. Um, but this one feels like a really good mix of, like, sort of modern platformer sensibilities without abandoning the sort of teeth of gimmick. Right. Even on the gimmick difficulty, there you have unlimited lives. The checkpoints are pretty, pretty fair. I've only had like one time so far where I'm like, ooh, that's a bit longer of a death, but yeah, uh, Oops. Oop. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You're right there. Yeah, perfect right example. Thank no you. No big deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was intentional. <laughs> that was. I just wanted to show off the uh, the checkpointing real quick. That was an intentional also, death. The dancing cat guy is pretty good too. Pretty good. And I also, I I don't know. I wish I was like more familiar with like the world of gimmick or whatever because. I'm like, was that a character in the first game that I'm not familiar with? Yeah, you know, that I don't know. That I don't know. I I played a tiny bit of gimmick over emulation, and then yeah, when that remaster hit, but most of it I, I know from like GDQ or even the uh, right the Game Center CX episode, which is one of my favorite right. Game Center CX episodes. There's a little. Some of these uh, they're they're kind of tricky. Like some of these little secret areas, like. Mm -hmm. This up here is a secret area, but you have to do some like some weird stuff. You have to like kind of angle it correctly to where it'll kind of like bounce back. Right. Like and, yeah, like, this is where to... this is where the real difficulty of the game comes in is when you're trying to get to these secrets. I found some absolutely devious ones. Nice. Um, yeah. So I have it already, but that that's how you do it. I in level two. So in the original gimmick, to get the real ending, you had to find the secret items in every level um mm -hmm. i'm not sure if that's the case here or not obviously but i did find one of the two secret items in the second level and it took me along this like i'm telling you it was like donkey kong country tropical freeze levels of difficult in wow. terms of like in later donkey kong country levels yeah um, it was genuinely really hard but i never once got frustrated it was like i was like laughing and having fun the entire time a lot of dumb physicsy deaths just very good yeah yeah because it isn't that punishing like you're kind of just chill like it's fine you know like it's again like there is a bit of a skill check at least on the you know on the standard difficulty or whatever the standard gimmick difficulty and they they do have a um another thing that i really like about this game is the easier difficulty the assisted difficulty mm -hmm. i think does a really good job of like not feeling like baby mode. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I can pick up these crates too. That actually might even make it easier for me to make this jump. Um, and they they do a really good job of like making it easier, but it's it isn't baby mode. Like it doesn't feel like oh like here you go. Like I'm just gonna make it like you know like like there's no actual challenge or right, whatever, like which is or like you know. insult you by calling it like ninja dog mode or whatever. Like <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. It's not like a Mario 3D land where you have, like, whatever, like a, you know, little gold tanuki suit that, like, you, you just never die, you know, or whatever. So, yeah, I haven't looked at the, the easier mode yet, so what, what are some examples of them, like, what do they do? So, they'll make it, for example, um, the platforms, like the little rock platforms that kind of fade away... Um, a lot of times they'll just be like one, uh, you know, platform length. They'll uh -huh. just kind of up it to like two, okay. you know, yeah, give, give you like a little more wiggle room and stuff like that. Um, I feel like the star maybe has a little bit more. I, I don't know, but it, the star feels maybe a little bit more like, um, 
sticky. Like okay. it, it, it's a little bit more forgiving um, when it like attaches to uh, you know to to the, the little slots or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, plenty like this stuff right here. I've done this already too, but like this stuff right here is like actually pretty precise. This was genuinely the hardest part of <laughs> World War or Level One, yeah. Like you really like have to pretty... gimmicks like whole body has to be off the ledge to be able to make those jumps, basically. Yeah, pretty like pixel perfect. So it has like plenty of teeth, and and again, like even with, I, I would recommend like most like at least you know try it on on the standard gimmick mode or whatever. But I do really like that they have like a a good feeling uh, assisted mode. Oh, and you also have more health in assisted mode. Um, rather than being able to only take three hits, you can take, I think, five. Okay. So that also just kind of, you know, eases it a little bit, but not so much that it, you know, not so much that it feels like you're a child for doing it. If you if you die again, can I want to test something real quick. If you die again, sure. it's, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure I will. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to happen. Or I'm rather, it didn't happen right there. <laughs> well, it was specifically with the with the cat, but it's fine. You got this balloon checkpoint. Oh, okay. Now. Okay. Well, I think we'll see another cat. Yeah, I think so too. I think. Yeah. But yeah, it's like this is this is kind of a good. It's a really good tutorial level. It's a really good sort of like yep, like this is what gimmick is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another thing, you can also kind of like ride on these enemies. A little bit like the enemies even are platforms. Uh, just trying to jump on this head. Yeah, there. you know, I never made the connection before until now, but it's almost like Mario 2 in a lot of ways. Like the way you totally. interact with enemies and, and the environment and stuff, it's a lot of like lifting stuff above your head and moving it. Yep. In fact, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think the main character's name is Yume Taro. And um, Mario 2, Matt, I don't know if you knew this. Did you know that Mario 2? was originally Yume Kojo Doki Doki uh, Panic. Did you know that? What an interesting <laughs> fact. <laughs> yeah, I know I know that nobody knows that on the internet. Um, yeah, so so this this character, I believe Yume Taro translates to dream potato. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is what he looks I, uh, like, yeah. And and so I think that um, you know, like the whole story of, of gimmick, I think he's like a little like plushy or something that is like dreamt up with like the wishes of his owner or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, he's a little dream potato. And anyway, uh, the Mario 2 comparison, I think, is apt. And the sort of dreamlike vibe of gimmick, I think, also sort of feeds into that. Uh, I do want to note real quick that when I played this level last night for the first time and I encountered these little melon boys... When I came out of that cave, I was playing on the couch next to my wife, and she was watching me play a little bit. And I was like, ooh, what are these dudes? Like, they're just, like, cute little melon boys. And then they just start walloping you. And it, it, it was, <laughs> it was a friends. real... It was a real... I felt like such an ogre. Like, I felt like such an idiot. Right. I'm like, these cute little dudes. Oh, cool. And then I'm dead. Yep. Yeah, it, you know, like you just can't trust every melon boy that you <laughs> run into on the street. Just goes to show you. Okay, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's level one. And again, I kind of showed y'all where some of the collectibles are. Um, that's not all of them by any means. But this will be my first time playing uh, level two. And I'm going to put it on assisted to show y'all what that is. Mm -hmm. And we'll just kind of get some raw reactions to level two. I've not seen this yet. Again, Tadpole excited Temple. for you excited for you to see it, but also hear it. Oh yeah, the David Weiss music, man. Let's go. Oh, oh that's right, he can swim. I was like, what am I supposed yep. to do here? I keep forgetting that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's something snoring also, and that's a little ominous to me. <laughs> There's for sure a way to get up here. It sure looks like it. Oh okay, yeah, here's where it really sounds like Tropical Freeze. Yeah. Yeah, y'all did get Di uh, David Wise, huh? I mean, yeah. When when you I played the first reason. when I played the first level, I was like, huh? Why did they get David Wise just to do covers of gimmick music? And then I got to, to Sage Shoe. I'm like, oh, okay, this is why. Okay, yeah. 
Is the cat dressed up like you are? Because it's the he same. He totally is. It's the same color and the same head thingy. He totally is dressed up like me. <laughs> or am I dressed up like him? I mean, let's let's test it. Yeah, that's kind of if what I, I wanted to test. If you change it, like, does it? Yeah. Like, if I put on a straw hat, make myself green. Okay, he's maybe still the next like that. cat I see will be. I don't know. We'll find out. I can't remember what the cat looked like on my game last night. We'll find out. Next time we see a cat, we'll we'll learn. Oh, I needed to remove the star there. Because it could be that the cat, that like we are cosplaying as the cat when we're wearing that. True, true. Okay, that should be fine. Got a key. Yeah, soundtrack's pretty, pretty darn good. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this does just sound like a lost Tropical Freeze track right mm -hmm. now. Hmm, okay. A little overshoot there. <sighs> Come on, now? There you go. There we go. Alright. Oh, no, I missed that <laughs> jump. Uh. Yep. Good. I'm I'm just glad, you know it's funny because I, I was messaging uh Bitwave about this, uh just over Twitter and like I just kinda mentioned to them like, man, like uh I'm glad y'all got to make this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And like they were just like, Yeah, like it's it's surreal. Like you, you can really tell that they're just big gimmick fans and um I don't know how long the game is. I kind of suspect that it's not gonna be the longest thing in the world. Yeah. However, like the the ma the levels are massive right. in this game. Like so this level took me over an hour last night and I still didn't find everything. Right. Yeah, the, the levels are big, man, so it's not even the kind of thing Oh. A little like Deku a, scrub. Like a Deku, yeah, totally. Um, so yeah, I, like, I, I feel like this is probably just gonna be, you know, just based on what you see, like, sort of in the overworld map, like, it looks like this might be the kind of thing where it's just sort of whatever, like, uh, you know, five, six, seven levels or something mm -hmm. like that, but those, if those levels are huge, then it's like, okay, uh, there's definitely something over here, yes. but I don't know what the best way to, okay, yep. oh, okay, <laughs> alright, I get it. That's also, it's so cool in this game, like, this happens in almost every room for me of, like, okay, how am I supposed to do this? And then, like, inevitably it feels so natural and you just figure it out real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, it yep. might, sometimes the execution is a problem, but it's very intuitive, these weird star puzzle solutions. Yeah, like, it's it's weird that it works at all. Like, yeah. it's weird that this this design works at all. Like, it's not... I don't know, like, it just seems like the kind of thing that, like, is, is so loosey-goosey that it, like, should not work this well, but it sort of does. Right. Yeah, so the assisted mode just, like, again, you can take a few more hits, the, the platforms are maybe a little bit more forgiving, the stars maybe a little more forgiving, mm -hmm. but it's nothing crazy. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's not... genuinely cool, because, yeah, I, I've seen a couple spots where there's been, like, yeah, like, one extra platform for you, like, that's such mm -hmm. a cool... I, I really like that it feels like it's really designed and not just, hey, we, we gave you more health kind of thing. Right. Yeah, or like, you know, whatever, there's less enemies, or whatever the case may be. Which is a really common, you know, sort of way to get around this stuff. Even this is a little Mario 2-ish, now that you mention it. Like, going into these other areas oh, yeah. and getting, like, a weird key or something. Just missing a Fanto or an Angry Sun or something. Uh, let's get... Uh, Ooh, perfect. Oh, this is maybe the hardest one for me, at least, uh, that I've done uh, so far. This is going to be rough. Isn't it? <laughs> okay. It actually skips for quite a long time. It does. It skips for longer than you probably think it does. Okay. We're going to try this out. Nope.
Okay, that actually... Not jumping actually gives you a... Kind of a better bounce, weirdly. Yeah. It's just hard to, like... It's hard to gauge, like, when you're gonna jump on it. Right. Okay? What I found is I need to do it earlier than I usually... Or later than I usually expect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The skipping water part, not, not too bad, but, yeah, it was this part... I was probably on this for, like, over 15 minutes. Okay, I feel like what's gonna happen is I'm gonna hit this, bounce off of the wall, land on the star, and then, like, not react quickly enough to the fact that I've landed Th on the star. That happened to me, like, seven times last night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like is gonna happen right now. Just constantly shocked that I actually- Oh, you, okay. you got it! Wow! Okay, that, let's go! Seth, that took me, like, 20 minutes last night. <laughs> <laughs> I had to mentally walk myself through, like, what I knew was gonna happen there <laughs> in order for that to work. <laughs> Sick. Alright, cool. You don't need Feel a sys mode. That. Put it on gimmick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do it like a man. <laughs> play, play it on the man's difficulty. Yeah, but I, I like that it's in there. I like that, uh, you know, because I think a lot of people, like, if you've heard anything about gimmick, you've probably either heard, oh, it's that... It's that, like, obscure Famicom game that has really good music or whatever. Um, or you've heard that it's, like, that really hard game. Right. <laughs> you know? And, yeah, it, so. it really has to be emphasized. That original game is super hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I, I remember coming in somewhat blind uh, to the to the remake and just being like, Oh, it's cool that this exists. And, again, I played it for, like, 30 minutes and I kind of noped out of there. I was uh -huh. like, yeah, this... Ain't happening. Even with the rewind <laughs> feature of that version, it's still oh, yeah, like, no. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like this right now. Another thing that this game doesn't really do uh, a whole lot of that that I appreciate, and the first game I remember did. Uh, the first game had like, I don't know, I don't know if monster closets is the right word, but um, the first game had like these little dudes would like infinitely respawn mm -hmm. in the first game. And, like, that always kind of sucked. That was always kind of rough. Right. Um, yeah, any NES game with infinitely respawning enemies is pretty annoying to me. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So, if I go down with this, the platform that I need to get on will retract. Interesting. Yeah, I figured this one out, but it... It did. My thought was I had to throw the star into the pipe, but I and maybe you can do that. But I think when when you throw a star through a pipe, it always comes out at the same angle, no matter how you throw it in there. And it, it never right. was coming down the way I wanted it to. So I solved it in a slightly different way. Yeah, I'm almost like I, I almost feel like the move here is maybe to just try to jump on it like this. I don't know if it's even possible. Hmm. There's also, like, a really strange angle there, which I have to assume is intentional. Mm hmm I think it's so that you, yeah, you can't, can't bounce the star back to yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, because otherwise it just slides right back down into the water. Interesting. Okay, well, let me see. And so now I'm like, well... Is there some janky way I can pull that yep. off right there? Basically, yeah. you got it. You just need to send the... You hit the lever before you leave. Mmm, that makes sense. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it also just kind of, like... I don't know. This is maybe, like, um... Maybe a, a weird... I don't know that I expected it to look and feel as good as it does mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to play. Like, it just kind of... I don't know. It just kind of looks good and, like, feels good. It's, like, really snappy. It runs perfectly. Like, no complaints. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Close. There's your first complaint. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, the, the original game always felt, like, loose to me, which, again, I, I assume is by design, but... Ooh, nice. Perfect. Got it. Oh yeah, we got the pink star now. I, I like pur purple. Yeah, my favorite color. I've been going with the purple star so far. Yeah, purple's my favorite color. I'm looking. I'm waiting for a new cat. I, we've not seen oh, another yeah, cat. Oh yeah, you're right. Where's the cat? There dude? has to be one coming up soon.
Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh... It's, it's funny, we're gonna have to start thinking about, like, um... This game in terms of, like, you know, the, the soundtracks of the year, man. Yeah, no, genuinely, and, and I'm really excited to play more. I've not gone past stage two yet. Um... I think stage three looks like it might be an ice level, and and you know David Weiss goes oh, yeah. ham with those ice level songs. Let's go. <laughs> oh, now I can be the the scrub. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. Up. Uh, yeah. Pretty sick. Yeah, and Good game. Stuff like that just feels awesome. Like it's very basic, but it just it feels really good to pull that off. Okay. Nope, so that's just the way he looks. Maybe that's just yep. the way he looks, yeah. So we're just we're cosplaying as him when we put on that outfit, I guess. Which I do I like that color and I like that little hairstyle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's just kinda cute. The hairstyle is very know. good, yeah. And the goggles, like it's just kinda he's kinda like he's got a little big the cat vibe. Yeah, for sure. A little bit. Oh, maybe they only activate when I hit this. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize their uh, their little shots can be deflected by the star. These dudes right. are very annoying. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially you, you get close to them and they try to go away. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh. I love that brown gimmick, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now I now I can really be uh now I can really be one of these little dudes. You're just a little dirt boy. Yeah, I can really be a dream potato now. Let's go. What a cool level. Yeah, it's awesome. I I like well, I said, I just had a smile on my face the entire time playing this last night. But this, like, I, I imagine on gimmick mode, those dirt platforms are not there. Or these platforms are not here. Yeah. It's probably just single platforms. For sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's just cool. It also reminds me of, um, like, the different difficulty modes in, like, Mega Man 9 and 10. Like, that they added and removed right. platforms and stuff. Yep. Like, just a, just a really, I don't know, I, I really like just thoughtful and considered difficulty options like it's so I feel like a lot of people just again take take the easy way out and get like quite lazy you mm -hmm. know with the way they handle difficulty and th there's this game does not have a um wow what a, a shot lazy or unconsidered that was a good shot yeah, that was pretty <laughs> sick does not have a lazy or unconsidered thing in it you know like it's yeah. just so it is, well done like it, it it sounds cliche but it is just it feels so lovingly made like the, 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 I can't think mm -hmm. of any other better word for it. Boop. Okay. And it also taps into a little bit of that, like, because it's it's physics based. It's it's funny that this came out in close proximity to something like Peglin, because um, I do get a little bit of like a Peggle satisfaction from mm -hmm. it as well. Yeah, no, like, I, I do totally get a little see bit that. of that. Very pachinko y. Uh, mm -hmm. ugh. Just rolled right up onto that dude. <laughs> right. Come on. Well, now I'm wondering. I think I mean, it's probably. Hmm. It might be easy enough for me to just like do that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I think that star is like a misdirect sort of. But then again, totally. it, it does put that platform out, so maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know. Interestingly, too, the first level, I don't... Well, maybe those are... Are those just, like, the gimmick skins? Like, those two silhouettes? Are no, those, like, the they're, they're not. Those are, like, the secret items. And I, I found oh. one in this level, and that was where I got, like, the hardest platforming stuff so far. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I cannot jump straight onto that. All right, good to know. Um, that makes me wonder. Oop. <laughs> All right. Well, I can probably actually do that from here. Yep. Yep. Sick. 
but now I'm kind of like, there's something over here. I think I missed this when I was playing last night. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. What is this? Oh no. Oh, that's what? the Kirby one. Yeah, I did get this. Okay. It is Kirby one. Look at that. Yep, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like this right here. Now you kind of look like a weird little naked boy. Looks a little naked. Yeah. Look at him. Good, good video game, guys. <laughs> There've been so many good games out lately, and like it's it's the kind of thing where like I, I hope this does well for them. Mm hmm. Because I know how oversaturated this you know the market is right now, and. Yeah, specifically in the uh, month of September of 2024. <laughs> yeah, this month's insane, man. And I know that, like, when it comes to indie games this month, everybody's going to be talking about whatever, Plucky Squire and stuff. And, you know, that's cool, and I'm excited for that, too. But, I don't know, man. Give something like Gimmick 2 your, your love and attention. To see, like, okay. a successful revival of a decades-old, like, Japan and Europe-only Famicom release is pretty right. cool. Yeah, and what's funny and interesting too is like people in the regions that got gimmick, gimmick is like a and and Bitwave I think are um, are Swedish if I remember right, mm -hmm. um, and like in in like European and Japanese regions like this game is considered like a sort of icon, right? Like in in a way like it was very popular. Made the frog happy. Yep, and then she gave you a little Yo, frog what? baby. Little frog baby? <laughs> He's got a little star. Aww. <laughs> Cute. Okay. All right. Yeah, it makes so, me really excited to see if in later levels, like, they each have, like, a unique grabbable thing going on. Yeah. No kidding. Like, some kind of interesting little. I mean, I'm, I mean, gimmick, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. It's right there in the title. Uh, okay. Also worth noting about that cat, I forgot to say it earlier, uh, those act as, like, teleport points, so you can warp to the other cats if you realize you missed something earlier in the level. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. That's cool. So, if you need to go back and do, like, cleanup or something, does it save your, your cats? That I don't know, because I haven't gone back to okay. replay a level yet. Okay, that's interesting. I'm curious if that's, if that works. Oh, music's so good. It's really good. <laughs> Dude, it's very good. Okay. Is that gonna go... Yeah, that's not gonna go to the star. Hmm. It seems like that's what it... Hmm. There's definitely gonna be some kind of weird thing here where I need to, like... Can I... Can I, like, pop off another one on the way down or something? I uh, Yeah, I messed around here for a while, and I didn't- I couldn't figure anything out. I, I guess it could have to do with the frog. Oh, maybe it, it has must. to do with the frog. It must have to do with the frog. Yeah, because it'll slide down right onto the frog. Yep, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that'll be it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, this I definitely did not get. Ooh, a little gray a little, star? Like, like a little gray silver star? Okay. Alright. I mean, that's a little... This is a little redundant, right? This little pipe system? <laughs> I mean, I guess oh, it works if you accidentally hit the star yeah, here. Yeah, that's what it is yeah. if you accidentally hit the star. Yeah, it's like a little uh, get-out-of-jail-free card there. Just watching you play and find things I miss, I'm about ready to reach for my Switch right now. <laughs> Yeah, ma'am. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love the theming of uh, of these worlds too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a game! Yeah, and I, I also feel like I mean I don't know. I don't feel like I've played like a really good like what's the last really good old school style 2D platformer like this you played? Yeah, I was trying to think of that last night too. I, I really I'm oh, having wait. trouble thinking of one at least on this level. Hang on, I saw something moving up there. 
Yeah, there's something up there. Might just be a frog or something, I don't know. I think that's right. But there is definitely something moving up there. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, like, I just, I feel like, I mean, 2D platformers in general, I feel like, are a bit of a rarity, but, like, especially ones that are like this, um, truly can't remember the last one of this level that I played. You know, I, probably a lot of people, especially on Switch, are gonna tell you, like, oh, what about, uh, like, Mario Wonder? It's like, I mean, yeah, Mario Wonder is really good, but, like, I'm way more excited about something like this than Mario Wonder, you know? Yeah, for sure. Sick. Oh, that's cute. You little frog gimmick. I like that. Yeah, little frog guy. Still prefer Kirby, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, still pretty cute. I like it. I mean, who wouldn't prefer Kirby? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I also, I highly recommend people play uh, Wonderling as well. Um, that game rules. I, and, yeah, uh, I played the demo a couple years ago, and I'm like, this is really cool, and I still haven't gotten it, and honestly, the next time it's on sale, I'm probably just going to finally pick it up, just based off of how good yep. this has been so far. Yep, and they, they made a bunch of, like, free content for it as, like, Wonderling DX. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's, they just, like, added it, I think, like, just for free in the game, and, uh, it rules. It's really good. And, again, sim like, the, the level design in this in particular reminds me a lot of, uh, of Wonderling. Like, the, uh, oh, I've got one hit left. Um, just, like, the, the way the levels in this are so big and detailed mm -hmm. um, really reminds me a lot of, of Wonderling. Like, Wonderling was just like that. I gotta bring the frog over here, probably. Yep. At least I think you do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can get enough height without it. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Dude, I have one hit left. I can't afford this. Apparently that's all you need. You just killed, like, four of those dudes in one star. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> Where'd my frog go? Where is he? I don't want to go too far. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, I think he was like all the way back here and like through that pipe. You might have to do it. Okay, there you go. All right. There he is. Okay. Just in case something happens, get my health back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Pull him back through here. Well, I'm not timing that right. Okay. Do they, do they have the soundtrack on uh, on Bandcamp yet? I haven't looked. I wonder. If, uh, that that is very uh, relevant to my interests right now, though. Yeah, for sure. I'd buy it. Oh, cute! <laughs> <laughs> Little ears. Yeah. I also like that Gimitaro. it's like a slightly uh, slightly off green than the standard gimmick green too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he wants it to look natural. Yeah, it's for his cosplay. Yumitaro goes to conventions with that on. All right, oh, yeah, you're too close. That's fine. Oh, I guess you could have brought that frog down too, but oh yeah, that probably would have worked, huh? That's fine. We went for the overly complicated option. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed to go back here anyway because the the door I opened was up here. Right. That's right. Okay. Take some of these dudes out. Wow, that was a good uh, maneuver. Yeah, we figured it out. <laughs> Interesting uh, instrumentation in this too. It really got, it's the like some... it's the exact same instrumentation as the uh, that the Alpine Peaks or whatever level in Tropical Freeze. Mm-hmm.
Also, yeah, Tropical Freeze is a good video game. Uh-huh. That's a good game. Okay. All right. Yeah, things are getting a little crazy right now. I think they're... Oh. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> there was a lot of fast-paced but... movement and jumping happening right there. Yeah, well, I'm wondering, like, do I need to bring this dude with me for anything? Like, why else is he there? Is he there just in case I fall? I'm guessing there just in case you fall, but I, yeah, I'm not 100% yeah. sure. Huh, okay. Also, where does that pipe lead? Mm -hmm. Oh, I okay. guess it's back. Okay, all right. <laughs> Might want to... And I'm also wondering, can I... Is there... Oh, if I get the frog, I can probably get up there. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Okay. Well, we gotta figure this out now. Hmm. Okay. This is gonna be tricky. You definitely have the right idea, yeah. Oh. No, I did not want you to eat that. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Sick. Did it. Alright, cool. Okay. Ooh, but yeah, you're gonna nope. be fast with That's this. That's not gonna work. Yeah, you gotta be fast. Puke up that star. All right. Um, Ooh, perfect. Nice. We did it. Okay. Ah, uh, this a little fruit basket. That's the other secret item that I haven't found. Nice. Okay. All right. Um. Well. Let's see what I have to do to get up here. Also, good music. Interesting that the secret item seems to be like a, a puzzle-based room, whereas the other one I found was like a pure platforming section. Mmm. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Just a second too late on that jump. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, just a bit too late. That's fine. Caught it. Cool. Uh, I guess I just let the frog shoot me up here, but it looks like, well, no, maybe, no, I don't, I think I'm going to need the frog up there too. Does, I think I'm going to have to do some. I think the frog, he'll probably shoot the star into that pipe, right? That would be my guess. Yeah, he, he would. However, well, yeah, cause well, maybe the, the, uh, momentum from the pipe of, of it coming back down from the pipe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Because I need the frog to get that star in the second area. There. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. All right. Kind of tricky. This this angle is a little tricky because where it falls down, it's a little like... Like I'm going to hit the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Hmm. How do I avoid that? I guess maybe if you like wait like an extra half second for you to come yeah. down a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's what you gotta do. There we go. Okay. Well, no, don't spit it out. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. We did it. But yeah, the game has not said anything about what these items are for. Yeah, I have no clue. Like, what do you even use it for? It's a fruit basket. <laughs> I guess you can always use a fruit basket. That's true. All right, checkpoint. Okay, this is a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I was a little too early on that. <clears throat> yeah, this is where I started to find, like, okay, they're ramping up at the end of the second mm -hmm. level now. Yep, definitely. Ugh. Okay. 
Nope. <laughs> it's funny too, because you almost you have to like kind of trust like your jump. Like sometimes you just have to like go for it and hope it lands. Right. If I get it onto that second platform, it will work. Okay. Yep. Sick. Oops. Oops. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanna I wanna get that back up. Cool. Yeah, and I mean, it just goes to show like how how long these levels are too. I've been playing this this second level alone for over half an hour, I think so far. Yeah, that sounds about right. And again, and I would assume like there's still missing objects. Like I, you found like two absolutely. things that I haven't, and but I still had other ones I was missing too. I think I had eleven out of fifteen. Nice. Okay. Yeah, some of them just kind of change his, like, horn. Mm-hmm. So now we can have a little white horn. Kind of matches the, the Kirby style a little bit better. This is giving me slime tree in uh, Maple <laughs> Story vibes right now. Ooh. Nice. I, I hate those dudes. Okay. Yeah, they're not fun. Uh, well, it's interesting too because the the star does not the star will will uh, dissipate on the spikes. Mm -hmm. So I can't just like let the star ride on the spikes either. Although, maybe I could just make that. I think that slope gives you the momentum you need, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I could just make that. Let me try it. Also, the fact that, they're, that their seeds can, like, go through walls. Mm -hmm. Evil. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got it. Oh. Oop. That's fine. Let everything come back. It's fine. Cool. Okay, so this is near the end then. Is he holding like a little watermelon? <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hmm. Interesting. The way it behaved just then was kind of weird and interesting. Kind of bounced off of the side of the... Yeah, okay. Nice. I'll say I don't even think Did that's it... intentional on their part. I think... Because you can move that statue later, so I think that's what they <laughs> intend oh, for you to okay. do. But... Well, there you go. You already got the the speed running strats down. I guess so, yeah. Oh no, I didn't realize there was gonna be a star there. I was not prepared. <laughs> this is what I was talking about <laughs> earlier. This is definitely the hardest platforming section I've done. And just like this pleasant music while you're doing it too. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> just chill, cozy music while this is happening while you're doing this like white knuckle platforming. <laughs> yep, perfect. Ah. Uh. Just a little too early on the jump. Ugh. This is what I mean, though. This isn't like, uh, this is still assisted mode, right? Like, it's not. Yes, but so far, uh. I. Hey, I became intimately familiar with this level, or this part of the level, and I don't see any differences so far. So maybe these are unchanged because they're optional. These challenge rooms might be. Yeah, the optional challenge rooms might be unchanged, yeah. Which I think is also fine. Yeah. Okay, we did it. Okay, this is gonna be weird. What I found with this one is that 
you kind of have to like trust yourself and like get the star ready then like commit to your your jump but then throw the star off that breaking platform before you reach it kind of thing hmm Right, we'll try it. See what we can do here. Nope. This is gonna be the kind of thing too where it reminds me of uh, when I when I did my Pizza Tower video. I was just so stubborn about like <laughs> wanting to do the levels and stuff. And... Sure. Okay, so we're gonna trust it. Uh, it's gonna be rough. Okay. Perfect. Okay, did it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, now you get to trust Crushed your jump it. again. Yeah. I did it first try. It was all good. Everything was perfect. All right. I will oh, say no. this part I wasn't entirely sure because yeah he breaks those platforms so yeah I wasn't I did do this but I wasn't entirely sure the intended way to do it. Mhm. Mm you do have a little bit longer on the platforms than you think. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Like like just an extra like half second longer than it feels like you do. Yeah, him breaking the platforms really sucks. The way I um, did this, and again, I don't think this is what they intended, but I was able to like shoot a star at him from like where you're standing on safe ground and, mm. and kill him. But I get the sense that they probably intend for you to just like kind of go for it and then like jump off of the crumbling platform that he's already activated. Sure. Nope, I like your way better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, they give you this physics -y star for a reason. Do some physics with if it. If I can pull it off, I definitely will. Alright, let me see. Ah. Uh, oh, I think that was actually going to I feel like it, it is... Yeah, it probably was going to do it, too. You just have to... You kind of have to be weird. Like, you have to, like, get forward momentum with, like, a forward jump that you should not be doing. Mm-hmm. But then also go back at the right time. Yeah. I wonder... Even this, I wonder if I can pull this off. No. I That was, I think, basically what I did was... I think I jumped on the first platform, bounced it off of the second one, and then went back. Or I maybe even tossed the, the star, oh. like, before I hit the plat- I'm not sure exactly. Whoops. Yeah, and it's it's interesting, too, because, like, I like it when, um, when like, one element is the thing that makes a, a level difficult. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the only thing that really makes this level difficult is the fact that the star can't bounce on the spikes. Right. Like, if you could just do that, you would actually kind of be fine. I, I don't know. I, I kind of like when when a game understands itself like that. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. See, if we if we had an all-in office, then ah. we could have, like, a whiteboard right now, and we could be drawing diagrams of how right. to handle this. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also, like... I'm always, whenever I do stuff like this in a video for the YouTube channel, I always get self-conscious because I'm like, how long should I spend beating my head against this? <laughs> sure. In a YouTube video. But I also want to do it for my gamer pride. Of course. The most important pride there is. It's the, the only thing that matters, <laughs> after all. Nope. Ugh. Got the first section down. Yeah, this is also how I was, because there's still like a little bit more after this. 
Mm, maybe I should move. Maybe I'll give it a couple more tries and then I'll move on. What I kind of want to see is, yeah, if you just kind of run straight forward without hesitating. Like, so he's going to jump on that one and it's going to crumble it away. But if you're fast enough, yeah. you should be able to jump onto it before it fully crumbles away and jump off of it. I think that that is my guess is for the intended route here. Hmm. Okay. Or at least even get to his platform where he is. Right. Yeah, see, if, if you... Uh, yeah, just like a yep. second later or a half second later, I think it would have been fine. And also, like, trying not to get hit by him right. at the same time. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think you have to go, like, under him onto the already crumbling platform. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. Man. It's, it, it's real tight, though. But, yeah, you, you probably could do it that way. Hmm. Whoop. I need to get a star charge for that. I think maybe the play is no hesitation on it, but like jump as late as you can without any kind of stopping. I think is maybe. Okay. Maybe. And make sure you're under him as he's jumping, basically. If I'm holding the star, will it hurt him? I don't think so. But okay. I don't know that for sure. <laughs> Man. Yeah, because if I if I just jump straight on him like that, he hits me and I get knocked back. Yeah, that's the problem there. Whoop. Okay. And then I'm gonna like I'm gonna reach that point in, in any like moment like this in a game where you start like your spirit starts to break a little bit uh -huh. and you start to like mess up on things you never mess up yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> real raisin in the sun type situation. Yeah, totally. Uh, I still I still want to like take him out. Like that would be so that'd be so good. Oh, you ah, did. Okay. We did it. Okay. That we did works it. We did too. It. We did it. You know, I guess I never thought about that. You could just like bait him to start moving and have him just jump okay. onto the spikes. But yeah. Okay. Oh, you No, <laughs> I jumped a second too late. <laughs> yeah, that's an, uh, that's an instance where yeah, it's like you needed to trust yourself and trust the angle of the star yes. and, and commit to it. Yeah. Yeah, I died there quite a few times, honestly, with that okay. exact scenario. Nope. Man. Baiting him onto the spikes, though, actually is not a terrible play there. Because we can kind of... Because you can, you can actually kind of do that. You can kind of, like, come back off of that and he like you can leave yourself kind of room mm -hmm. on that one platform nope <laughs> that was a little too early and then yeah this also I'm like this is only the second level and again it's an optional area but right. still yeah Pretty crazy that this sort of difficulty is in here. Yeah, yeah there we go. Perfect. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's, that's the the, in strat. the intended thing. Yeah. That is the strat right there. Oh, no! no. Okay. We got this. We can do it. We're on this journey together. We, we can do this. We've trained for this. Yeah. We've we've worked so hard for this this moment. Your movements pristine. <laughs> yeah, everything he's beginning to believe. <laughs> oh. uh, you, it's so. I'm wondering where a good. Maybe I just I need to wait for blocks to respawn. I think. 
I don't think I can do it. Yeah, that fast. I guess that makes sense. Oh no, they both. I, I hit them both on accident. I need to keep that first block around. Alright. See yeah. ya, jerk. F yeah, it feels good to have, like, figured that out. <laughs> uh, okay. With this, do I need to be on that top platform in order to make it? I guess so, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Then go. Yep. Perfect. Ooh. Okay. okay. I think this is the last chunk of it, and maybe you can bait this <sighs> one out too? Nerve-wracking. <laughs> Absolutely nerve-wracking. <laughs> I almost want to, like... Oh, man. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, no! <laughs> no, no! I was like, I'm going to do some God Gamer stuff right now. That was incredible. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been the coolest thing I've ever done. At that point, you could have just drove off into the sunset. There was no dude. Yeah, nothing I left to do the video right at that there. point. I would have just, <laughs> just, yeah, hard cut us to the subscribe screen and called it a video right then and there, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I needed to jump back on that platform. Yeah. Okay. We can do this, gamers. We got this. We got this, gamers. We're so close. We literally saw the end goal. Yeah, we did. Okay, I'm gonna let everything reset. I don't even think I need these, but it makes me feel better if they <laughs> <Sure>. respawn. <laughs> okay. I don't know how much danger I'm actually in of him hitting me. Yeah. I'm it's just... I. I mostly just want to get onto the platform that he's on. Is my thing. And I do feel like riding the star is the best way to do that. So, I'm not 100% sure about that, though. Maybe not. Because you do need to throw a star onto the... Into, like, the gear at the end to make a rainbow platform. Mm, right. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. Uh, I think, yeah, if you had just kept going right, I think if you just commit to it, I think, and then toss the star in midair, I think you had it, actually. Yeah. Because I actually don't even remember this part, so that tells me I probably did that part on my first try. Whoops. I want everybody to know how much I'm sweating. Right now too. <laughs> I'm not I, even playing and I'm sweating so, right now. Yeah, I've never been so locked in. <laughs> 20 minutes of this video is going to be just this. Okay. The time is now. Yeah, so, okay. like I said, so, I, I think just commit, because, yeah, he kind of was avoiding you anyway, so if you just commit to going, and then you jump off of the last one to towards the right, and then you just toss the star at the right angle into the gear. I think that's all you need to do. Oh. I, was trying to, I was trying to throw it, I just landed it. I think, yeah, I think you're right, though. I, I think you can just commit to it, and I think I'll be okay. I just... And I, oh, now I'm messing up this. <laughs> um, I, but I think that's it. I think, I think I know what to do. It also is like just at the, it's at the perfect like 
uh, the the camera is at the perfect angle to where it's like just enough that you can't see right. like where you're going. Mm -hmm. So you do have to like blindly trust it. Nope. <laughs> perfect. Ah, I'm hitting the button just a second too late every time. <laughs> right when I go to jump and throw it, it's just it, like I fall instead. Nope. What a sad little squeak of death. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a little balloon popping. Just. Beep. I guess yeah. He's also he is a stuffed animal, so I guess it makes sense. It's so squeaky. Yeah, I think he's supposed to be, and I think that was even true of the original gimmick. Mm -hmm. I think the original gimmick even had a little bit of a, like, light story preamble to it about that. Whoa, that sucks. No! Oh, you almost made it back. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This is almost certainly not intentional either. Yeah, I still think they intend okay. for you to just like go for it, but hey, whatever works is fine with me. Yeah, I mean, whatever whatever you can make to get through something like this is what you need to do, man. All right, here we go. Okay. You did it. We did it. Oh my god. Surgical. <sighs> We did it. Goodness gracious. Uh, now we can complete this level. Yeah, I think you're basically right at the end. <laughs> oh, now this man. is all going to be easy compared to that. Right. What a what a journey that was that was for us all. <laughs> now we get this calming, soothing Donkey Kong Country music again. Thank God. I knew you needed a cool down after all that. You definitely do. <laughs> Even this, like this is so much easier yeah, than what we just it, did. It's nothing. Yeah, you just, you just gravity <laughs> trained on the way to Namek real quick. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. Yep, totally did. Oh yeah, look at that. I could have just done that. Hey, I think it's cooler oh. that you accessed it without it. Yeah. Is there like some weird stuff where there's like a hidden room to the top left? It kind of, yeah, I'm not, if there is, I didn't find it. Sort of feels like it. I mean, there's nothing that indicates it. It's kind of just like how the foreground sort of looks. It's just a lot of empty space there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> it's, let me not obsess over things this late into the video. Also, I'm like, does something happen if I take these dudes out? Because they have these at a pretty specifically annoying angle, uh -huh. I wonder. Hmm, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We just gotta fight the boss. Yep. Oh, wow, okay. what a little uh, preemptive hit you got there. Yeah, a little, little quick kill there. Oh, that's interesting. Just finding all kinds of... That's interesting, yeah. They're, the breakable platforms were not in the easy or assist mode version of this fight. Oh, okay. Like the, the regular, the gimmick mode? Right, yeah, yeah. Interesting. All that, yeah. That definitely makes that's it easier. Cool. That's That's pretty cool. The boss would be one of these things. Uh-huh. The fact that the seeds also get hit by the star. Mm-hmm. 
It makes it so annoying. It's like okay. the meanest thing in this game so far. Nice. There we go. You still got hit at the end. I also did. All good. We figured it <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, we'll take it. I will certainly take it. I mean, hey, I found almost everything on that level, actually. Yeah, you found more than okay. I did. Not bad. Okay, well, uh, Matt, this has been a journey. Thank you for uh, <laughs> for going on it with me. This has been Gimmick 2. Uh, great game. Everybody should play Gimmick 2. Please buy Gimmick 2. Really good. Really, um, really good. Yeah. How much is this, actually? Do we know how much this is? Off the top of my head, I do not know. I'm going to Google it really quickly. Please stand by again. There's a purchase link in the eShop um, for y'all to check it out for yourself. Gimmick 2 from our friends at Bitwave. Trying to vamp while the eShop page loads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Twenty four ninety nine for Gimmick 2. So um, that's, you know, maybe on the higher end of indie games or whatever. Um, so, I, like, I would get it if you wanted to wait for a sale, but for me, that's this game is worth it. Y'all should just play Gimmick yeah, 2. It's just really good. Regardless of length, like, if you can't tell, like, we were just having fun and goofing all the time, despite how often, like, Seth was dying in that secret section, right? Like, <laughs> like I yeah. wasn't getting frustrated by myself either. Like, it's, it's that type of game. Like, it's hard, but, like, you're not getting mad about it. Like, those are pretty rare for me. Yep. And I mean, I don't know if there's any sort of post game or whatever, but I mean, even just looking at this, like it looks like there's maybe six stages just on this screen, all of them a good, you know, length too. So yeah, yeah, gimmick two, check it out. Thanks again to our friends at Bitwave for passing along. We really enjoy it. Um, hit the purchase link in the video description to play it for yourself. Matt, thanks again for hanging out. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.